Pinot Black here, folks. Uh, here's the lady in the uh, the black carriage. All right. So, with no names, we undress. Siente Tridents. U.S. military, Navy, and American all serving. And retired. I give you the sun undressed. Persona and Grata. Here we go. Sharing what they are somebody hiding. Okay. This is a thousand blown up screen. You'll be able to freeze frame this and keep track of the rays from the sun. This is behind the sun and this is what is being hidden from you. Okay. And on Lasco and all the Soho before earlier you can see this object. It is to the left on A view. Okay. Now if I get mixed up saying front view, back view or whatever, we're going to get down to the bottom of that here in a few minutes. Okay. This is the other object that is blocked on other Lasco, okay? And it's nice to have friends in low places and high places and everywhere in between. Just want to let everybody know that. All right, so now, this is basically the vein that in the picture in a second I'm going to show you off of my PDF that is blocked. And there was a little glimpse there to let everybody in the world know that, yep, Vino can get whatever he wants whenever he wants. All right, now, and only because U.S. vets retired and active serving. Thank you, America's everything. All right. All right, folks, going to what just magically appeared in my uh, Microsoft since, hello, Mount Olympus. Okay, now, Lasco and Magic Mountain and everything. Love the U.S. military. All right, this is Stereo Ahead H1, okay? So, you have Mars, because we're closer to Mars, there. You also have what they don't want you to see right there. Too much anyway, they don't want, to see, want you to see. There is tons of objects that NASA and your school teacher and science teacher are not going to tell you that's in space, because they don't even know. Because NASA and power and control always holds the secrets. Well, no more. U.S. military exposes all retired vets and currently serving. We love you all. So enjoy today's flick, whether channeled or controlled or American stateside or whatever. Not selling anything to any communism or anything here. It's pretty unique the way uh, messages get sent this way or that around the world. Well, I like secrets too. Keep everything under my hat. Now, this is Mars. That is I believe Jupiter or Venus very far back because it's farther back. I'm not going to take time to go to that. I can always go back and recredit and give what credit due is where what object is. But that is Mars right now because it is the closest thing to the sun currently. If you look at the dates that we are seeing here, okay? These are the naked porno pictures from the sun that certain powers to be do not want you to see. Okay? Now, you will see on the blow up that I did that the idea that there's a vein here on this one here also that the idea that they don't want you to see. There's always layers, folks. There's always layers. Okay. Then you watch these jets that come out of the sun and you'll be able to match up by looking stereo A, B, C, back, front, even if they play a shell game and cover things up, folks. Uh, I'm just letting you know what's out there. Now, I give you raw data and the idea that Nobody could get pawned in American, especially America, or being a taxpayer, or a vet, or whatever. The whole world's going to wake up and realize that real soon. Okay, now here we go back to. I'm going to go out of the recording and appropriate some more data and true info for you. Now, also before I leave here, that is the sun, folks, right here. Okay, that shaded area right there, that is the sun. And yes, there's more than one sun. And especially if you include the super giants, folks. Okay? Alaraf is behind the sun in the super giants, and the sun has been in the super giants for quite a while. NASA hides a lot of stuff from you because they don't think you can handle the truth. Well, me and 
Jack Nicholson in Hollywood and the whole American game, the casino, the whole everything is telling you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, because the idea that one way or the other we get the truth via to a movie or the truth one way or the other, okay? So we can handle the truth. Jack Nicholson proved it to us in the movie. And Jack, just calm down. It was a good movie. You did a good job. So anyway, these are the secrets that are out there, folks. They are banding and not letting you see that, that, and that. Now, I will blow that up. There's an object here. There's objects up here. There's objects in those veins, and there's no reason for them to hide and cover up and do this all fear thing and everything like that. So, Alan and will be coming by, and we're going to have to get down to the rat's ass and knowing how big it is and so forth and so on. There will be a wave through space, folks. It's a tube, okay? Down to physics, astrophysics, there is going to be a wave in space because no matter what, and we are already feeling it from other objects in space already because the idea that when something real big goes through space in a vacuum real fast, we are in the vacuum, we are in the underwater water of space, folks, because the idea that just like how all the astronauts, they go and they do their work underwater to prepare for working in space. Because why? Because outer space is a vacuum and you are in the elements of space and there will be a wave when something big goes by. Okay, that's why the, the everything's coming down. Yeah, they don't want things up there. They know it's dangerous right now because there's too much waves in the tidal pool. Siente Tridents, U.S. American military, Air Force, Army, Marines, Coast Guard, everything. And if I miss something, I'm just in a hurry to show the data here. Okay, so now, uh, all right, so back into here. This is the bandwidth, because I will miniature down and you will see what they are hiding from you, okay? We have objects that are being hidden, masked on different shots, okay? This is being hidden from you, i.e., yes, and there is a lot more than just one out there, folks. And who knows who might have, by Witt-Rarevich power and control, might have put something up into space to make us think that something is coming or not coming, okay? But also... My theories on things are starting to expose stuff to be what it is, and the idea that I believe even the smartest scientists in the world don't even know what some of the stuff that we see through telescopes and through radio imaging and so forth and so on is. Okay, folks, this exists, and they are not letting you see it. Okay, this stuff exists, they're not letting you see it. Okay, and I will have the disclaimer at the end of this, the idea that America's most powerful want you to know this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So you're finding it out in this being shared because it just magically appeared on my computer, which is all legal private citizen, U.S. American, taxpaying American citizen, and the idea that if I can get a hold of, I can share with the American public because over control can keep this within the United States and only share it with the American taxpayers Okay, so this is the 1,000. I'm going to knock it down to 400. And we will get the idea that that is, and this is the material on the back side of the sun, ladies and gentlemen. They are in the supergiants. The sun is, and Alarraf is also, okay? So these are objects of the supergiants that are humongous to the sides of Earth, and so on and so forth. And... Over here, which is masked right now on this shot, but you can see on, i.e., the other shots, that the idea that there is Mars, and I will, am not wanting to get in trouble here right now, but it's either Venus or Jupiter way far back. Now, Jupiter is hella bigger than Mars. It's just the idea that certain objects are going to look bigger right now because they're closer to us than they are. The far objects are tinier because they're farther away, i.e., stars that people keep on saying it's not Alan and it's this and that. Yeah, Leonis and all that stuff is way behind Alan in, common Alan in, which we know that has very many names, and they do that on purpose to confuse you. It's a called a walnut chess game, ladies and gentlemen. The idea that where is it hiding? What does that little uh, three Monty, folks? Which one is it hiding on? Here's your three Montys. They take it out. They strip it there. And I take the clothes off and show you at least the retired U.S. American and active American and everything that wants you to know taxpayers' truth. Okay, so there is Mars. 
There is the sun. Okay. Uh, there are objects that are being masked from you because they, the powers to be, think that you will be scared. These objects are hella far away. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself and the idea that we're just going to have a wave through space on these objects coming close. Now, there will be small asteroids material that will probably come into the atmosphere and break in, through, go through anything. Uh, but by the time it gets here, any uh, small material, whatever you want to call it, a comet, an asteroid, uh, matter, debris, it's going to be a lot smaller and it's not going to do that much damage. Now, yeah, someone could be walking down the street and get hit in the head by an asteroid or something like that. Well, it's a hell of a way to go, but, you know, it's going to happen. And the idea that there would be warnings because if everybody is the powers to be wakes up, they have the way to monitor it. And they could give fair warning that the idea that there's something coming in and we track it because I know that the U.S. military can track a fly's ass all the way from Mars down to somebody's toilet lid, ladies and gentlemen. And so does every U.S. vet, active or retired. All right? So there could always be fair enough warning to let us know what is going on. Taxpayers need to know. So there is a short video of, yes, ladies and gentlemen, taking the clothes off of the naked dark of space. They strip it there. There is Mars. There is the sun. And it'll all match up. And there's how they mask. And also to be able to see also, they, they mask to be able to expose. So as you go through these, you can start figuring somewhat so-so secrets out. There is Mars. I mean, there's Mars. And there is, I believe, Jupiter and so forth. Now we have these other triangulations that are out in space, folks. There's tons of them. And that's why the... Red V is on the NASA logos, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And then these objects are also out there in space. Now, this is from stereo ahead, ladies and gentlemen. So, when I have showed you in the past that this large is out there, there is large something out there, and it is not, i.e., and I might get mixed up here on pointing, but that it's, that's Mars there. And so if we go back up to the exploded view, there is large, very large objects out there in the supergiants. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? And the thing is, the secret that they hold it all the time is the distance of where it is away. The one thing is, the sun is in the supergiants, and what is the supergiants going to do to the sun? And that's what they're worried and scared about. They don't want to scare the world because everybody is a chicken it seems like so there are tons of objects the sun is in the supergiants there are suns there 74 times the size of the sun so if we lose the sun ladies and gentlemen there's going to be another sun from the spirits whatever somebody wants to call religion bring politics into it this that and other i speak to you totally scientifically and yes someone can even bust my balls i am religious i believe that there is a power greater than thee man okay folks so there is a replacement sun so there should be no panic ever because the super giants would supply another sun they're so damn bright now are we following the sun into the super giants that's what we're going to end up finding out folks because they're going to have to start bleeding some truth quit hiding behind the shadows and the dark pages and being scared little chickens okay because there are other suns back deep in the super giants i.e i am circling one right now with my pointer because the sun is right here and i pointed at a sun up here in the super giants way back because this is a head wake up nasa you don't know it all, and your theories on comet grazing are a bunch of hockey. And I know it. My theory is correct. I'm an electrician. And your electrical physicist should get together with your astronomical physicists and wake up. Because that big comet that hit on the 30th, September 30th, ladies and gentlemen, that big-ass comet that hit the sun, that hit the sun, I hope I didn't say Earth, but the one that hit the sun, the big-ass comet that hit the sun, ladies and gentlemen, Yes, the sun might have devoured it electronically and so forth and so on. It's shield and it ate it alive, possibly. But it hit the sun. 
And this theory that they just grazed is a bunch of hockey. Okay, be no blackout for now, ladies and gentlemen. Watch all my videos, ladies.